Hey guys, um, I just wanted to come on here and share something with you guys. Um, I was out here reading my Bible and um, the dogs were getting really wild, so I put them inside because um, I'm not going to put you guys through that today. Um, but uh, guys, in either case, I, I was going to read with you from Malachi because I found something really encouraging there. And I always love reading that verse because it's so uplifting for those of us who know um, that we are in the days to watch for the Lord's return and uh, all the prophecy is fulfilling around us. And, um, and, and that's why I thought it rather unusual that my Bible just popped open to Lamentations, which is something I don't read um probably as, as often as I should, because there, I think that there's a lot of, um, foreshadows and, and enough things to come in the days that we're in, uh, there in that book. So I was glad really that it did pop open to, uh, Lamentations, but it, a lot of times when something like that happens as well, I don't think it's by accident. I don't think there's any such thing as coincidence. And, and I don't think many of us, um, are, are inclined to feel that way. I, I believe that most people um, sometimes uh, look for a word from the Lord in that respect by, um, you know, praying on it and saying, Lord, please lead me as to what to read in the Bible today um, and what message that you would like to give me. And, um, and, and I think that those prayers are answered rather often by the Lord and, uh, and his word is sweeter than honey to us. And um, so uh, I was thinking on all of these volcanoes volcanoes that we've seen, um, the devastating one in Guatemala, Guatemala that took so many people's lives that, um, just where they stood, they, they had no chance to run and flee, no warning at all. Um, and then the people there in Hawaii, I was watching, um, a video last night and then another one just this morning about the green uh, olivine crystals. They're like the color of olive and, um, and they are olivine crystals, uh, believe they're called peridots, um, which is like a, uh, a, a gem stone. And, um, I don't know, uh, you know, much about its value or anything like that, but, um, but these gems are basically falling out of the sky because they're coming out of that volcanic ash and lava that's spewing out of the, uh, of Kilauea right now. And, um, these people just woke up basically one morning to find them, uh, in their yards and on top of their driveways and in the streets. And, uh, so they've been collecting them. And I saw, um, where someone had made like a little plate or a little bowl full of them. So they're very plentiful, um, in certain areas from where the volcano went off. But that's what I also thought that this was a message for us that I would share, um, uh, from Lamentations. And if you look beginning at chapter four, and I'm going to read verses one through six, it says, how is the gold become dim? How is the most fine gold changed? The stones of the sanctuary are pouring out in the top of every street. Indeed they are. The precious sons of Zion, comparable to fine gold, how they are esteemed as earthen pitchers, the work of the hands of the potter. Even the sea monster draws out the breast that gives suck to the young ones. The daughter of my people is cruel, like the, like the ostriches in the wilderness. The tongue of the sucking child cleaveth to the roof of his mouth for thirst, the young children ask bread, and no man breaketh it unto them. They that did feed delicately are desolate in the streets. They that were brought up in scarlet embraced dunghills. For the punishment of the iniquity of the daughter of my people is greater than the punishment of the sin of Sodom, and was overthrown as in a moment, and no hand stayed on her. And, um, I just think it's a message for us that, um, judgment is coming, um, and has been falling, I believe. Um, and in particular here in America, um, it's, it seems like since the great sign and since the eclipse and the fall that we've noticed that the birth pains are getting really close together, um, uh, more frequent, stronger, um, for those of us with eyes to see and, and ears to hear. Um, so, uh, I think I'll read 
something encouraging to you guys from Malachi now, um, because that's what I was going to share with you guys today anyway. And it's the very last chapter or the very last book um, of the Old Testament, right before you get to the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Um, and, and it goes like this, starting in chapter 3, verse 16, it says, And they that feared the Lord spoke often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts. In that day which I make up my jewels, I will spare them. I will, as a man spareth his own son that serveth him. Then ye shall return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth God and him that serveth him not. And I thought that that reminded me a lot of when people talk about the separation of the wheat and the tares, the separation of the sheep from the goats. Um, and where else have we heard that? The very, very last book of the book of the New Testament, which is in Revelation, the spirit of Jesus is talking to the angel and John is recording it all. And in the very last chapter, three times, he says, behold, I come quickly. And, um, and he is not a man that he should lie. Um, it's Jesus. And, um, so it says in this book, and, and this is the part that I think that is a, um, that it's very similar to what we just read in Malachi that, um, to discern between him that serveth them and, and serveth them not, it's like a separation. Even at the time that judgment was falling, uh, in the Lamentations chapter four, um, God always looks after his own. And, it, and also, even if to the point of death, it says that precious in the eyes of the Lord or the death of his saints. Um, and then the, the wicked, uh, have gotten their reward as well in, in terms of the judgment. But, um, the part that I wanted to read with you guys is, um, let me see here. It's the part where it says chapter 22 and it's verse 11. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he that is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according to his works will be. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Um, and, and guys, I think that that is spelling out the moments that we're in now, right before the return of the Lord, right before the rapture of the church, because there is going to come a point where um, the age of grace um, is going to close. And, um, and the Lord himself, it says in Thessalonians, will descend from heaven with a shout. And I, I believe that when that shout happens, that it's, it's going to, it's going to be God that's basically blowing that trumpet and it's going to be the filthy over here and the, and the just over here and the unholy there and the holy there. And it's going to be like sheep and goats. And, and he knows how to separate us. What does it say of the word of God sharper than any two edged sword? Um, so, um, it's just like the word that I got the other day. I felt like from the Lord, I felt like that that message was for all of us. And, um, it's speaking that that's why we did see the, uh, the, the double edged sword coming out of his mouth that John recorded, uh, in the book of revelation is because it, that's why they call it the great and terrible day of the Lord, if you will, because it's great for some and terrible for others. And the double edged sword Jesus being the word of God, um, it says to cut asunder even bone and marrow to separate. And so he knows his own. Um, that's kind of like the parable of the virgins, you know, depart from me. I have not known you. I mean, he, he knows us and we know him. And um, it's a beautiful thing, guys. Um, please join us today. These are our days to watch for the return of the Lord. And we know that, that he will come quickly, just like his word says. It will be in a moment, just like the judgment fell upon those that Lamentations was walk, was talking about. Just like that volcano went off the other day um, in Guatemala. It will be that quick. 
and um, in a moment. So um, call on him today. Um, I want to thank you all for your prayers earlier for the video that I um, put up about praying for Leanne. She says that she has accepted the Lord and that um, has said her prayers and she's part of the, uh, the body of Christ now. And um, she's our sister. And um, um, it's just a beautiful thing, guys. And uh, I know that we're all going to be the, the kingdom that never dies, the God's eternal, his chosen. And um, you all are my family. And I love you. And um, I'm sure we'll talk real soon.